Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Fish Food, and welcome back to the Inferno. That is what we're going to try to do this episode. We are going to try our hardest to get this Inferno cape. We have 18 attempts and like a PB of 53 waves. So, I'm hoping that the progression kind of starts getting a little bit faster. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of the uh, editing clips, and i uh, been seeing all of the mistakes I've been making, and I know what to do in those situations now, which is good, so... I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to hop right back in. Let's go get an Inferno Cape. Well, we are clearly off to a bad start because I have no runes in my rune pouch. Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't start praying. Is there a way to get out of here? We're going to try to see if we can get out of here. What the hell? I mean, 46 is not bad for a first run back in like three days, so. I died early because I refused to brew. Bad idea. But I was only on like wave 13 or something. Yeah, I was only on wave 12, so I don't even care. Well, I was not recording, but I made it to wave 30. And uh, yeah, I just got stacked out. Had a wave I couldn't quite solve, but uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Go uh, stretch my legs, do something else for a little bit, and then I'll come back to Inferno. What? Well, that was a bad run. Alright, once I take this guy out, I will have hit wave 54, or wave 55, and this will be a new personal best. And I've got quite a bit of supplies left. Oh, I say that. I've got four brews left, but I've got more supplies than I had last time I was here. Okay, so I missed the recording. For some reason, it uh, didn't save, but I got to wave 56. And uh, my computer's lagging a lot, so I definitely need to take a break from this for just a little bit. I think somebody in the clan wanted to go do some God of War, so we might do that. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some money. Alright, so it's been a few days since I've played RuneScape, mostly because my internet has been giving me a lot of problems, and I didn't really want to start some runs and then get disconnected. So I think everything's stable now, so we're going to hop right back into the Inferno. Alright, quick little update. In the Inferno, we are at wave 33, and I have used none of my brews. I've used about two of my restores, which is not the best, but I've used no brews, which is good. It's been like four days since I've done an Inferno attempt, so... I'm not doing too bad, I don't think. Okay, so as soon as I get these guys finished, I'll be on wave 54, which is a new personal best. So, this is still the same run as last time, so. <sighs> Supplies are looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to have enough restores, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about that. I just want to push farther to the waves. If I can get to Jad, that would be great. Shit, what the hell? You know, I'm not going to complain because that was still lit way 58. So, I might might just try another one. That wasn't too bad. Well, I had my mic muted, but that was ridiculous. I'm lagging a lot, so I think I'm going to go do something else. Alright, so I decided I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the Inferno just because I'm starting to get a little burned out. But I figured I'd need to make some money if I'm going to go back at some point, so we're going to go ahead and check. I think we do that. I, I forget. I always forget to do this, and it's been forever, but that's the resource we collected with our miscellaneous. So I'm going to probably go back to Slayer and maybe process all those herbs and stuff. I don't know. So during my hiatus from the Inferno, I'm going to go back to Slayer, and I'm going to finish up this Cerberus task. I've got like 56 kills left, and I'm going to try Thralls here. I don't really know if it's going to be worth it, because, I mean, I do lose a lot of per points anyway, but I don't need Elks when I'm doing single uh, trip trips, if I'm not using the uh, looting bag method, I mean. So, uh, 
Let's see if we can get lucky in 56 kills. Probably not, but might as well give it a shot. Well, that's not good. I just disconnected. Like, I completely shut down in the middle of the Cerberus kill. Yep, I'm in Lumbridge. And that's going to be our Serb test done. And I think I've had this test for like a month now. So it's time to finally go see Duradell and see if he still remembers who I am. <laughs> Sometimes boss tasks are great. Sometimes you get tasks that are better if you just use the regular boss. Or a regular task, I mean, because the Dagonal task would have been better. But we're going to do, let's see, I can do 41. I'm going to do 39 because it's an even uh, rotation of 3. So let's go kill 39 DKs kind of a big milestone here but this is going to be if i will ever kill him there we go kill number 2000 at dagonoth supreme and then i've got like 50 kills at prime and like uh 30 kills at rex before i hit 2k so i'm almost at 6000 kills overall with two rex pets not too bad and this is going to be our dagonoth king's task done and i think i'm going to use my slayer cape and see if i can get another boss task so let's go back to duradel well, it's not the Inferno, but we're going to go do Jad, I guess. Uh, just because I still need that pet, so. And it might not be bad practice for the Inferno. I mean, I, not really. It's way different, but let's go do a Jad. I think that's the most calm I've ever been for a Jad. <laughs> Maybe it's because of all the Inferno. I have no idea. But there is, uh, I believe that's my 31st uh, Jad kill. Let's exchange the fire cape and not get the pet, of course, like we always do. Yes, I don't. I know I don't get it back. Not lucky. All right, back to Duradel. Well, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about money for a while. 157 hydras, and I do still need the pet, which is good. I've got everything else in the log. I wouldn't mind another claw, or even the leather. That wouldn't be bad. But this boss literally just prints money, and I have max range, so I should have some pretty fast kills. And we are starting the Hydra task off with a really big drop that I don't have room for. Alright, that's my first kill of the day, and that was a really fast kill. I skipped, like, all the specials, so what is my... Oh, wow, that was actually really slow. Never mind. Also, I should mention that I am now wearing the Bone Crusher necklace uh, to kind of save a little bit of prep points. Not really sure if I'm going to like it, but uh, I figured I'd at least give it a shot. And of course, I take damage on the very first hit. Well, I definitely needed a Hydra's Claw. That is 45 mil. Oh my god, those things have tanked so much. And I guess I'm going to go bank. Okay, so that is my fourth claw in 2,270 kills. And I went really dry for my first one, so it's kind of nice to be over the drop rate for this. Still want that pet, but you know what? I'm not going to complain for 45 mil. I don't really know what upgrades I can make, but considering I'm going for Inferno, I might try to push for a code I want. I'm not sure. And that's going to be kill 2,300 at Hydra for some sharks. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Hydra because they released... Part of Nex, I mean, you can get the keys now, and I have to kill every God Wars general. So I'm going to start with Kriara, then we'll probably do Bandos. Maybe we'll do our Ceridoman first. I don't know. I might do Sarah while I have the Armadale Helm, because I don't really plan on using anything else. But uh, let's go kill Kriara at least once. I'll probably just do a full trip. I'm geared up for it. So let's kill the big bird. Okay, so I got the first Frozen P key. So I guess it's actually tagged as the Armadil piece, which is pretty good. So uh, we're going to probably finish this trip and then head to... I think we're going to do Ceridoman. Okay, so one boss down and we have three more to go. Next is Commander Zilliana, and my frames are dropping really bad. I might have to switch worlds, but it's a guaranteed drop, so I'll get it on the first kill. But I'm going to do a full trip because, you know, that ACB is still really, really expensive, and I'd like one of those. All right, we're back at Hydra, and we got ourselves another ring piece. I don't remember how many we have in the bank. I know we at least have the eye, so I think we just need the claw, or the fang, I mean. And uh, then we have another ring. So it turns out I do have all three pieces for the brimstone ring, so let's go ahead and proceed with the combination. Uh, 3.2 mil, that's not too bad. Well, I was going to try to continue because I still have restores left, but I am out of anti-poison. But I started this trip with 50 kills left on task, and I did 35, so that's not terrible. I guess I will gear up and do one final trip at Hydra. 
And that's going to be the Hydra test done. That was 157. And are we going to get anything? Yeah, some Alcables, not too bad. I think I'm going to go back to Dirt. I'll get another task. And then I think I'm going to finish up the last two God Wars dungeon bosses I need so that we can do next whatever uh, she arrives. So I guess when we go back to Slayer, we're going to do some more Cerberus, which isn't too bad. But I have a hard casket I got from the Hydra, and it's not too bad. Well, thanks to that Hydra Claw that I got in the, early in the episode, I'm going to go ahead and invest in a set of Tacits and a BGS. And it's so nice to see that those items are actually going up. It's unfortunate that I have to pay that price, but, you know, I'm okay with the economy being better. Spending 42.9 mil on it. And uh, now we have a permanent upgrade. I'm not going to go ahead and get rid of at least the tacits for sure. We'll go ahead and pop those in there, put the BGS in there. And now it's time to take on Krill and General Gardor. Okay, so we're here to take on General Gardor. I'm going to do a full trip, which is probably going to be like two kills. But I at least need one. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop in here before my world gets taken because I think it's pretty busy because I hopped around and found three worlds and they were all almost immediately taken. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly hop in and... Let's go kill General Gardor. Well, that was a pretty rough kill. I did not get nearly as uh, much DPS as I thought I did, so I probably can't do another kill, but I'm going to try anyways. But there is our key that we came for. All right, so we only managed to get one kill at Bandos, but now it's time for Krill, and I will probably only get one kill. I'm going to do as many as I can, of course. Uh, thankfully, I have a Serp Helm, so I don't worry about anti-poison. And I think I'm going to hold on to that at least until I can afford a... Basilisk job, but uh, we're gonna kill Krill and get our final key piece. All right, there is our frozen key piece from Zamorak, and uh, I might be able to get two kills here. Okay, now hopefully I just have to click this to assemble the key, and uh, now we have the key to get into next whenever it arrives on January sixth. So this is like a week and a half, two weeks away, give or take. So yeah, not too bad at all. And now we have come to the end of yet another video. And I'm sorry that these last couple videos have been kind of delayed. I got really busy with uh, real life work and also just kind of got a little burned because of the Inferno grind. But we're going to be back to it probably next episode. Probably do some attempts here and there. I don't think I'm going to focus on it like as the only thing I do. Because I only have about two to three days to actually play a week. So I want to kind of mix things, some things up and make sure I'm actually still having fun. Because yeah, some people do still this still play this game for fun. I am one of them. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.